All right, mathematicians continuing on addition and subtraction within 20, finishing lesson 16. We started it yesterday. I can practice using skills to solve word problems for each problem type. By the end of today, you should be able to answer um, when you're looking at any problem, what the part, the whole is and what the parts are within that problem. We're going to continue using deal. What does deal mean? Yes, drawing, equation, answer, labels. We're going to continue using the four problem types. This is going to come back around as we do two-digit addition and three-digit addition. We're going to continue using deal and these problem types. So we're going to get lots of practice with them this year. Add two problems. Yes, something is coming into the scene. Take from problems. Something is leaving the scene. Put together take apart problems. Nothing is leaving or coming into the scene. Compare problems. We're comparing how many more or fewer. So we're going to continue now page 52 today. Yesterday, we figured out what problem type each of these were, what kind of drawing we would need, and talked about the numbers that you were placing in there on the paper as we worked. So if you don't have your math workbook, pause and go get it. So number five, and if you need to look back at yesterday's video, go back to yesterday's roadmap and find the mini lesson video. Mina has six cherries. Annika gives her some more cherries. Mina has 13 cherries now. How many cherries does Annika give Mina? So what is our problem type to help us decide what kind of drawing we are needing for deal? Mina has six cherries. Annika gives her some more. Mina has 13 cherries now. So our, what we're trying to figure out is how many cherries does Annika give Mina? Hmm, she got some more, right? So is something coming into the scene? Yes. We're going to need a math mountain drawing with all of its labels right? Plus the equation. So now we need to figure out where these numbers belong. What part is the total and what are the add-ins? Mina has six cherries. Annika gives her some more. Mina has 13 cherries now. So think about where those numbers should be in your math mountain. Pause if you need to, to figure it out on your own, and then check. You could always work on a whiteboard first, too. Oh, yeah, I know some of you are thinking, Mina has six cherries. Does that sound like the total? No, it's one of the add-ins, right? Then she gets some more, so she has six. So label this has six. Annika gives her some more. We don't know how many. It doesn't say a number there, right? So maybe gets or Annika gives could be the label. You could put a question mark there or leave it blank for now. Mina has 13 cherries now. 13 is the total now. Those would be good enough labels. Then make your equation for how to solve that. Draw, if you need to, for a solution. Use mental math. Make a 10, whatever strategies you need. Then fill in the answer that you find, your solution, and Label it. Mm. Cherries. Our full, complete sentence when we get ready for that will be 
So we need to answer the question, how many cherries does Annika give Mina? Annika gives Mina mm, cherries. So you're going to have to figure that number out. All right. Oops. So pause if you need to finish number five. Listen to it again if you need to. When you're ready, push play and listen to number six. Lisha wants to put 15 apples in a bowl. She wants to use green apples and red apples. How many of each could she use? Show three answers. So, 15 apples in a bowl. Some of them are green and some red. So, in this case, if she's using, she wants to use green and red. None of your combinations can include zero or 15, all of them being one color. So you need to have some green and some red. Then show a different way with some green and some red. And another way with some green and some red apples. So for this one, how many of each could she use? Show three answers. This table, it's kind of like an organization, a little table here. This is going to be all you need to answer for number six. You do not need to complete um, a deal for that one. Okay, the check understanding is the last thing on your page. So now you should be able to understand which parts are the whole and which are the parts. So it says to complete that about problem five. So that's the one that we read with Mina has six cherries. Annika gives her some more cherries. Mina has 13 cherries now. How many cherries does Annika give Mina? So you're thinking about this problem to answer at the bottom. Blank is the whole. Blank is a part. Blank is a part. So think of your math mountain that you made. What was the whole? The total. And what are the parts? The add-ins that we're putting together to find that whole or the whole. And what are the parts that we were taking apart? Next, you can go to pages 53 and 55. So the back sides of those would be 54 and 56. And use your scissors to cut them apart to do the make 10 cards. Okay, so each card shows how, like this one shows how to change 7 plus 8, or thinking of the 8 first because it's the larger partner, and making a 10, and 5 more. So find the part, the 10 partner of the larger add-end. So 8 was the larger add-end, 8 and 2 makes 10, and then the rest of that 7, if we took 2 off, the rest of it would be 5. So 8 plus 2 plus 5 is 15 which is 8 plus 7, or 7 plus 8. So we broke apart the smaller addend into the 10 partner and the rest. On the card, the dots and numbers show this break apart right there. Add the rest to the 10 to make the teen number. Say the equation and answer to yourself. Turn the card over to see if you are correct. If you're incorrect, use the number and the dots to help you see how many to make a 10 to find the total. Then say the correct equation to yourself two times. Make three piles with the cards. In one pile, put the cards that you answer correctly and quickly. In the second pile, put the cards that you answer correctly and slowly. In the third pile, put the cards that you answer incorrectly. Practice the cards that you answered incorrectly or slowly. And it's okay, right? Keep going, use them day after day after day, and hopefully 
that third pile gets smaller and the first one that gets that you got them quickly gets bigger and bigger over time it takes many days and a lot of practice to do that all right friends um tomorrow will be a quiz so you've got this it's deal problem types and it's okay because we're going to keep practicing this as we get to two digit addition and subtraction and three digit addition and subtraction so if this is still a little tricky we're going to practice it all year long and get better and better at it all right mathematicians make it a great day